more worlds we travel to, the more questions I have. It's not just the hardships of the people, but something more. You are right, but there is something more at work here. Yes, these dead worlds, they, well, they have a pattern to them. They were all touched by the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War. But sometimes, well, I feel as if they are all connected in some other way. The attacks on Katar, Telos itself, the decay on Dantooine. Something is wrong with life. The connections have been damaged, sickened. Sometimes I feel like I almost understand and then it just slips away. So close. Perhaps. Dantooine is only one of the worlds. It was only the start of the journey. I would like to study the other locations. It is curious that the Jedi Masters chose those worlds to travel to. I wonder if the two are linked, but I know not how. How many more do we intend to gather to us? This ship is not the galaxy. There is only so much room. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Their kind always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. You deserve nothing, but you have earned such obedience, yes. They are tools, you are right. More than you know. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. I know many things, and I know what I am not. I am no leader. I speak with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader, and perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? The fool dances in your shadow for your favor. The disciple, he worships you quietly. The alien obeys you, even within the machines there are echoes. Watch them carefully, see their patterns, and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. Good, and then act upon it. It is a powerful tool to motivate others. That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi beneath her? How she made them hers? Ah, but to make officers turn on their own people. To bomb innocent worlds to make pacts. Strong influence, indeed. And where did these Sith teachings come from? And why did Revan embrace them so strongly? So many questions, yet the answers are few. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. I know that you settlers have a score to settle with Jedi. Trust me. This one's gonna suffer. Trust me, Jedi have a very bad fate waiting for them on Nar Shadda. Anything he's done to you, he'll more than pay for. For a settler, you're all right. Leave the cave and don't tell anyone what you saw. If you come back, we'll have to kill you. I'd rather not, so just go. Do not mistake my tone. I was not faulting your choice. Far from it, I respect it. There are many who never learned such strength. You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Azkul. 
leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Return to me when you are ready for us to begin our assault. I warn you not to keep me waiting. Well maneuvered. With both the mercenaries and the militia counting on your aid, you can influence the outcome of the situation as you see fit. Just in time. Terena told me you've been searching for her friend. Well, I'm gonna have to ask you to put that on hold for now, as I've been telling Terena. I've just received solid proof that the mercenaries are planning to annihilate Kunda. We need your help. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, Look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Zeron. Thanks, stranger. I should be back to duty in no time. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. Your mind tricks won't work on me. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Yeah. 
since you're asking me, I suppose I could. I figure I still owe you for helping me with my thief problem. Zeron has asked me several times before to join the militia. So I expect he's going to be very pleased. <laughs> Charanana Gundoso, Remina Kelrak to Guru Katada, Ferator and Padon. I hadn't even thought of that. I know the militia will take just about anyone. I need the credits and would like working with people who will actually watch your back. Well, I want to think it through, but I think I might just go to Kunda and sign up. Thanks for the idea. There may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. All right, then we got a lot to do. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. It's not that the settlers aren't good people. Many folk just don't have the fighting mentality. I'd rather just make people happy and get along. But there isn't any getting along with Asgore. He's out for blood and taking the place over. So we gotta protect the Administrator. Kunda can go on without me, but not without her. The Administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the Mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. It isn't gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna have to fight on the inside. They've got three entrances they're gonna try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any that break through. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? All right, you take one squad and defend the front entrance. I'll take another and guard the back. One will park outside the administrator's office. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. and me. I think it'll really help. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all of Dan Twain falls with us. 